Swami Vivekananda says, take up one idea, make that one idea your life. Think of it, dream of it. Live on that idea, let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success and this is the way great spiritual giants are produced. Others are mere talking machines, right? In the previous video, we learned about indicators such as litmus, methyl orange, phenolphthalein. Apart from this, we also came to know about olfactory indicators which indicate the nature of substance by the change in smell. Vanilla and onion are some common olfactory indicators. Now, in this video, we are going to learn about the classification of acids on the basis of their occurrence. You would have tasted fruits like lemon, orange, tamarind, raw mango and raw grapes etc. What is common in them? Well, these all are sour. Do you know learners why these fruits are sour? Because these all contain acids. That means acids are sour. Can you tell now why the taste of curd is sour? There are many fruits and natural occurring substances in which acids exist. Some of the common examples are Acetic acid found in vinegar. Vinegar is also called sirka. Citric acid present in lemon and orange as well. Do you know learners? There are many fruits in which citric acid is found. These all fruits are collectively called citrus fruits. Can you name one more citrus fruit? To answer this, you can search on google.com, right? Do you know learners which acid is found in curd and tamarind? Well, it is lactic acid and tartaric acid respectively. Oxalic acid is present in tomato, whereas formic acid is present in ant sting and nettle sting. So learner, did you observe the sources, acids that you learnt here? Well, these all are natural occurring acids. These all are present either in plants or animals. Do you know learners, what do we call these acids which come from natural occurring substances? Well, these are called organic acids and organic acids are weak acids and these are not harmful when we eat or drink. Oh, that's why sour fruits are not harmful to us. Exactly. When I go to my school labs, I saw there are some other acids also. These are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. From where do we get these acids? What kinds of acids are these? Well, apart from organic acids that we get from natural occurring substances, there is one more type of acids that is called mineral acids. The mineral acids are prepared from the minerals present on earth. These are the man-made acids. These are so strong that it can burn your hands and clothes if they fall on your bare part of the body. So mineral acids should be handled with care. Teacher, are all mineral acids strong? No, carbonic acid is the only mineral acid which is weak. Well, in this video, we learnt about the taste of acids that is sour. The classification of acids on the basis of the occurrence. If the acid is obtained from animal or plant, then it is organic acid. Whereas, if the source of acid is the mineral present on the earth, then the acids are mineral acids. Apart from this, you also come to know that the organic acids are weak acids whereas the mineral acids are strong acids. Now, it's the time for assessment segment now. So today's question for the assessment is, why citrus fruits are sour? Well, in the next video, we will classify acids on the basis of strength and the amount of water present in an acid. Till then, keep watching our videos, keep growing your knowledge. Have a great day ahead.